Welcome back. The city that never sleeps, now a rock and roll heaven for collectors this weekend. Julian's Auctions holding a blockbuster event with iconic memorabilia. And we have some of the hottest items here. I spoke with the executive director of Julian's Auctions, Martin Nolan, and I asked him about one of the auction's biggest items, Michael Jackson's jacket from the Bad World Tour. Michael Jackson donated this Jackson to a charity auction in 1989. It sold for over $4,000. And Marie, if you look at the back of it, you can see where Michael signed the jacket with an arrow. Love Michael Jackson, an arrow in 1998 with three zeros. And people believe that Michael used to sign his name with that year on it because he believed that was the year he would sadly pass away. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, he, so, he believed that was yeah, the year he yeah. would pass away? So this was 1989. The signature that we could see on this jacket, that's, that's really that's interesting. Really nice. And what's interesting, Marie, as well, about this jacket is that we, we sold it in 2009 soon after Michael passed away for 270,000 so you can see the price appreciation oh from 89 to 2009. That's incredible. Here we are again Hard Rock Cafe this weekend I think we're going to set another world record speaks to these collectibles people see them as actual investment Opportunities they sure as well. do. And one of my favorite things is this Prince guitar. All fans of Prince, I'm a big fan of his. The guitar he played during his final stage performance tells us about that. I interviewed Prince, and he was just a sweetheart of a guy. May he rest in peace. Tell me about this guitar. Yeah, and Prince has a, such a, fa a loyal fan base worldwide. This is a Collins 290 guitar That's that great. Prince That's played good. in Minnesota, a tribute to Ray Charles three weeks before Prince passed away. Wow. Yeah, amazing. A surprise performance by Prince and that's his last guitar. We sold one of his guitars two years ago for 700,000. This we estimate 60 to 80,000 but again gives you the wow. idea of the collectability and the value of these items. And it still works. Beautiful guitar, the Collins 290, a great working guitar. These are the glasses of the late John Lennon. These are cool. What makes them so special? So Well, so special that they're John Lennon. In fact, John Lennon wore these in a video for Penny Lane, 1967, way before MTV or any of those music videos. These are fantastic glasses, very iconic, made in Japan with the patent. So they're going from Penny Lane, Maria. We estimate them 10 to 20,000. They'll sell for several thousand dollars at the auction this very weekend. Very cool. Let's yes. look at Keith Richards' jacket here. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool. This is uh, this is also going to go. What's the story behind this yeah, jacket? Yeah, that's that's an amazing us. jacket. We call it worn by Keith Richards of Rolling Stones. Get your Yara out with the album. He's he wore so, many, many. He must have been so small. I mean, look, look how small this jacket is. Absolutely petite, tiny in the 60s, in the 70s, he wore that great photographs of him wearing it. And of course, when you can add photographs of the celebrity wearing these items, that really impacts the value, of And course. I see that you've got the, uh, some items from the late, great Aretha Franklin. She wore this hat, yeah, that's didn't an, she? Let's do the hat first before the dress. An amazing hat designed by Philip Tracy, who of course does all the hats for the royal family, including Meghan Markle. Aretha wore this in 1995 to the grand opening of the Cleveland Rock Hall of Fame, estimated 1,000 to 1,500. Fantastic monumental hat, so it should sell very well. Aretha, of course, sadly passed away recently. She's getting a lot of R-E-S-P-E-C-T, Maria. <laughs> she sure is. And she got it with this dress, that's for sure. <laughs> Talk about monumental. From the Queen of Soul, she wore this ensemble when? What, Maria, tell me about this ensemble. You could wear this today. But Aretha wore this in 1991. Here is a performance in New York City. It's an Arnold Scazzi outfit. It's a beautiful red taffeta vest. <laughs> with the romper underneath and what's really amazing there if I can show the camera the lining of this vest actually matches wow. the romper she Arnold was such Stasi, a show huh? girl yes yeah. Aretha loved her style she was obviously the queen of soul but also she was a style icon yeah and Arnold Scazzi was great too he actually did my wedding wedding dress actually yeah. very good so taste we, to we see have, Maria we I said you could wear this today <laughs> <laughs> we have the lyrics to the song Rocket Man signed by Elton John which is pretty incredible as well so Bernie Taupin worked with Elton John for over 50 years we have it his entire collection coming to the auction block. Rocket Man, such a famous, famous monumental song with nice hand drawing uh, sketches on the actual lyrics and outlines of drawings and the rocket. So I think the prices for these will, will be out of this world, Maria. All of these items really resonate with, with viewers. People like to, to collect these things, just not use them, but keep them in their home. And, Maria, and there's just... so much things happen in the world, bad things, yeah. political, all that, but we have one continuity with entertainment. Yeah. We're all nostalgic. We like to own something from Aretha or Michael Jackson or Prince or whoever because we're keeping their memory alive. Yeah. That's the continuity. No matter what happens in the world, we can always fall back to a movie or an album or a video, and that's what people are holding on to. Thank you, Martin Nolan.